Chadwick, how'd you know I was going to the ZZ Raven today? May I have that plant, please? I need to move it. Chadwick, can mommy have that plant, please? Chadwick? Chadwick, I need the ZZ Raven. Thank you. Hello and welcome to Peggy's Plants, coming to you from the Florida Keys. Hi, I'm Peggy. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you and yours are well. Today I am sharing the spotlight with the beautiful ZZ Raven, one of my favorite plants, but I say that about all of my plants. Up until recently, the ZZ Raven was very hard to get your hands on, and then a major grower mass produced it, put it out in all of the big box stores, so a lot of people now have ZZ Ravens. I was impatient, I saw it on Amazon, I ordered it immediately, and when I received it, I was so taken by this plant that I ordered a second one. So I have two of these plants and I honestly, it's one of those plants that I feel like you can never have too many of, but I'm not gonna buy another one. Um, but yeah, I usually don't buy two of the same plant, but with the ZZ Raven, I did make an exception. So let's take a closer look at the ZZ Raven. If I had to use one word to describe the ZZ Raven, it would be striking. It's not every day that you see a plant that has such dark leaves. It really demands your attention. Um, it's an interesting looking plant. It has the oval shaped leaves that are very shining. They grow on a single stem that is shaped kind of like a tapered candle. It's wider at the base and gets narrow as you go up the stem. Of all my plants, I can honestly say this is the plant that gets the most attention um, from people who visit me, especially people who are not plant people. Um, after they squeeze the leaves and ask me if it's real and all of that, and they still have to stop and look at it for a little bit to make sure that I'm not just messing with them because the leaves appear so waxy and so shiny. And the color, again, like I said, is so striking and unusual. It's definitely a plant that, a man, de that demands attention. Another very fascinating thing about this plant is the way the new growth comes in. This plant grows um, from rhizomes and the new growth comes in from under the ground. You just get in this little sheath comes up, as you can see here, and it has bright green little tube tubular looking thing coming out of it and you're like okay what's going on here the first thing I thought was is this plant flowering and then the growth just got taller and taller and then the leaves began to unfurl and as you can see when they are new these dark leaves are not dark at all they are a bright bright lime green absolutely beautiful and as they age, they start to get their coloring, their dark color, as you can see here. And then eventually they go pretty much all black. So it's just like a really interesting transformation and it doesn't take a long period of time. Um, usually within a week, you'll have your um, new growth color change from green to black. So just very interesting to see. Now, I did have one woman contact me and asking me when her ZZ Raven was going to turn black. And I kind of had to break it to her that if your whole plant is green, it's a, it's a regular ZZ plant. It's not a ZZ Raven. Now, if you watch a lot of plant videos, which I assume you do since you're watching this one, and you've seen like the top 10 easiest house plants to care for, or the house 10 house plants that are impossible to kill. If you've seen any of those type videos, you've probably seen the ZZ plant mentioned on there. Let's take a look at the care and see what makes these plants so easy to care for. Like most tropical plants, the ZZ Raven would enjoy some bright indirect light, some humidity, and warm temperatures. Well, 
for your plant to thrive and grow at its peak um, to its best potential, those things should be in place. They do like the indirect sunlight and the humidity. But the nice thing about the ZZ Raven is it's so forgiving. It's such a laid back plant that even when it doesn't get all of that, it will still grow for you. Um, this ZZ Raven is growing under these conditions, but my other ZZ Raven is in an entirely different setting and it's doing quite well also. This is a picture of my ZZ Raven that is growing at my house in Central Florida. It's in a corner. It's nowhere near a window. It's not getting any added humidity or anything like that. And as you can see, it's a healthy plant and it's doing quite well. This one won't grow as fast as the other one, but it's just a clear uh, example of how these plants can grow under a large spectrum of lighting conditions um, and things like that. Perfect for a room with no window, bathroom, etc. Now I want to talk about watering this plant and things like that. So I went on and dug up my <laughs> a part of this raven. Yes, I can't believe I did that. But as you can see, there's the thick stems um, that I was saying taper at the top. Uh, the stems are thick. They hold water. Here's the rhizome I was speaking of earlier. It looks kind of like a potato. It holds water. That's where I did a cutting in a trade. Uh, just checking, making sure everything's still okay. It's hardened off. But this potato looking rhizome holds water for this plant. This is a very drought tolerant plant. It can go quite some time without watering. In fact, the biggest way people kill these plants is over watering. So just keep in mind, this plant has some serious water stores, so it doesn't need to be watered frequently. Well, it depends on your conditions, of course. I water mine once every three to four weeks, and that is it. And just a quick tip, if you are buying a cutting of this plant, see if you can't get a part that already has a rhizome and roots attached. You're ready to go from start if you can get one like that. That's how I like to um, trade mine. I always try to give a root, some roots and rhizome. That way the plant will thrive. It's healthy. It has everything it needs from day one to be planted and start growing. My ZZ Ravens are planted in a mix of 50% potting soil and 50% perlite. Whatever potting mix you decide to use, the most important thing is making sure that it doesn't hold too much water and that it is able to dry out somewhat quickly because you don't want the roots to, may, to remain um, wet or the rhizome because it will cause rot. It's also important to let your soil dry out between waterings. Now, I like to bottom water. It's just what works for me and gives me a level of confidence that the all of the roots are getting wet. And for those of you who are not familiar, bottom watering, all I do is I take my water that I have pre-mixed with a fertilizer. I pour it in a bowl that is large enough to um, hold the pot as well. Set it in there. Bottom watering does take a lot longer than top watering. It will need to sit in here anywhere between 30 to 45 minutes, depends on your potting mixture and how fast the water is being absorbed, absorbed, etc. But once it has taken on all the water that it wants and can handle, you simply remove the pot from the bowl of water. I like to set mine on a dish or the saucer for the pot so that any um, remaining water can drain from the pot get all of that water out, and then I'll dump any excess that is still coming from the pot, and there you have it. Your plant is nicely watered. It's important to thoroughly water your plant. It's quite easy to propagate a ZZ Raven or a ZZ plant period. However, they do take time to propagate. The fastest way and most reliable way is a rhizome cutting or division, dividing your plant into different parts, just taking it out of the pot and breaking up the different sections. Most reliable way. However, you can also cut a stem and set it in water 
and it will root, but it does take a very long time to do so. That can also be done with leaf cuttings, which is the longest route to propagation that can, from what I understand, take up to a year to actually get any roots and do anything. That's it for the ZZ Raven. I think by now you can probably tell I absolutely adore this plant. Definitely recommend it to a beginner. It is very easy to care for. If you have any questions about the ZZ Raven or a ZZ plant, like I said, the care is the same for both of them. Um, leave your questions below in the comment section. If I'm not able to answer it, I'm sure someone from our plant family will step in and answer it for you. You know, the sharing of ideas and suggestions and things like that is what makes it fun and helps us all to learn. So that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.